Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about one of the most important concept of cyber security as well as networking called as proxies. So now what is a proxy? So pro a proxy is nothing but just a middleman between us and a remote server. So you can see here that here is our computer and here is our proxy and here is our remote web server. So you can see here that a proxy is a middleman which is sitting between us and a remote server. So by using proxy what happen is if we made any request for that web server so that request have to be passed from this proxy server. So now let's read here. So a proxy is a server which act as a middleman between a client and a server. So proxy server protects and hides computer from the outside network. So you can see here that here is our IP address. So if we made any request to google.com then that request has to be passed from proxy and once a proxy server receives our request then the proxy server will hides our IP and send that request with its IP. So by using proxy server we can hide the real IP address and one of the main benefit of the proxy server is that you might have seen in colleges that some of websites are blocked by network administrator so we can bypass that filters by using proxy. Now let's see that how many types of proxy we can use in our system. So first of all we'll talk about tab based proxies. So tab based proxies will only work in a particular tab. So there are some websites which provides tab based proxies functionality feature. So here is the link of that website zen2.com, hidemyes.com. So there are many websites which provide the same functionality but the thing to be noticed is that in tab based proxies the proxy will so only a single tab will get affected by that proxy but what if if we want a proxy in entire browser so there are some proxies which we can use in order to infect our entire browser so that proxies are called as browser based proxies so how we can use browser based proxies so what happen is there are some websites in internet which provides a list of free proxy servers around the world so here is some website freeproxylist.com hidemyes.com so we can copy the ip address from that websites and then we can change our browser proxy settings and then we can add that address in order to affect our entire browser and by using browser based proxy it doesn't matter that how many tabs you open so every tab you will open will get affected by that proxy so that's why browser based proxies are best now let's talk about anonymous proxy so anonymous proxy is called a tor proxy so tor proxy is an example of anonymous proxy and tor is an open source software which is designed to hop into different proxy addresses and then our request will went to that server. So Tor proxy is one of the most secure proxy which is, is being used nowadays. So what happen is if we made any request by using Tor proxy then that request will hop into different servers and then it will went to a remote IP address or a remote server. So the Tor proxy comes with a Tor browser and you can use Tor proxy and download it from here torproject.org and Tor proxy is available for different operating system Microsoft Linux OS and even smartphone also. So what if if you want an entire system entire operating system that will be affected by that proxy. So there is one operating system called as Vunix. So we can use Vunix operating system in order to use proxy for entire operating system. So what happen is even if you ping a particular website then our ping request will also be affected by Tor proxy by using Vunix. So Vunix operating system comes with a Vunix gateway. So what happen is if we made any request from Vunix operating system then that request will go to the Vunix gateway and in Vunix gateway there is a Tor proxy which is waiting for our request. So this is how Vunix works and we can also use Vunix in order to do some internet fraud scamming because Vunix hides our real IP address. Now let's talk about three different types of proxies. So here you can see that there are three proxy anonymous, elite, transparent. So these are the proxies categories which we can use. So the first one is anonymous. So as I told you earlier that anonymous proxy is one of the most secure proxy we can use. And then the another proxy type is elite. So elite proxies are also secure and they also hide our IP address. So whereas the transparent proxies change our IP address but they are not secure. So transparent proxies are not secure that's why the speed of transparent proxy is very high. Whereas the speed of anonymous proxies and elite proxies are very slow. So these are the types of proxies which we can use. Now let's see how we can use proxies in our operating system. Now let's use tab based, browser based and system based proxy. So let me open my Mozilla Firefox. 
Well, I told you earlier that in tab based proxy, the proxy will only work in a particular tab. And here you can see that I have opened this tab and here is this website zen2.com. So this website provides us the feature of tab based proxy. So once you open this website, you will see an input box here. So just for example, if I write here google.com and hit enter. So here you will see that the Google of Netherlands is open, which means there is a proxy which is set it up only in this tab. And in order to confirm, we can check our IP address by going here to what is my IP address.com. And here you can see the IP address along with the ISP detail, services and country. So this proxy will work only in this tab. In order to confirm, let me open another tab and let's just write here what is my IP address.com. And you will see here that our original IP address is of India. So similar to this website zen2.com. So there is one more website called as hideproxy.me. So this is a website link. So it's hide.me slash slash proxy. So this also provide us the feature of tab based proxy. So we can write down here web address which we want to open. So let me write here google.com and this website also provide us the feature of selecting the proxy location whether you want to use a proxy server of USA, Germany or Netherlands. So if I click over here to Germany and you can click over here now visit anonymously and you will see here that the Google of Germany is open. Now let's just verify And here you can see the ISP, our IP address along with the country name. So you can use these two websites in order to use tab based proxies. But what if, if you want to use browser based proxy so that if you open different tabs and that will also get affected by that proxies. So before starting with the browser based proxy, the first thing we have to know is that browser based proxies works after configuring the browser network settings. So which means first of all what we have to do is we have to find out a proxy which is available and listening and then we can use that proxy or that IP address in our browser network settings. So here you can see that here is one website called as freeproxylists.net and it provides us the free proxy lists. So you can see here all the IP addresses. So these IP addresses are of the proxy server along with the port. Here you can see the protocol anonymity along with the country and uptime and response and transfer rate. So depending upon your need, you can select one of them. So just for example, if I want to use this proxy, so I can copy this IP address, then what I have to do is I have to go to here to my browser settings. So I'm using Mozilla Firefox. So let's just go here to options, then advanced, then we have to go here to the network. And here you can see configure how Firefox connect to the internet. Now click on settings. Then here by default our browser works with this use system proxy settings. And here we want to manually configure the proxy settings. So let's paste IP address here which we want to use as a proxy. And here we have to write down the port. So let's go back here and you can see that the port is 8081. So let me just write down here the port number that is 80. 81 and if you want to use this proxy for HTTPS protocol also and FTP protocol also then you can just check this checkbox and click on OK. Now if I in next tab I open google.com and in the next tab let me open what is my IP address.com so you can see here now our IP address is of Russia. Here you can see the country along with the IP address, which means now our entire browser is affected by this proxy. So this is how browser based proxies work. So there are a lot of websites from where you can get the free proxy lists. So another example of the web this website is usproxy.org and here you can also get the free proxy lists. So this is how browser based proxies work. But what if, if you want to use a proxy for your entire system means if your system is making any request 
to the internet and you want that that request will pass through a proxy then what we can do is there any solution yes there are some operating systems or there are some system proxies tool which we can use in order to set our system behind the proxy server so there is one most commonly used system based proxy operating system that is called as Unix. so you can download the Unix from here from their official website wunix.org and the Unix operating system is actually based on Tor Tor proxy so if you don't know what is Tor proxy so the official website of Tor proxy is this torproject.org so Tor proxy is actually one of the best anonymous proxy which we can use in order to open any web application or any website so Tor proxy comes with a Tor browser which means once the Tor proxy is set it up then we can access that a particular website by using Tor proxy and by using this Tor browser so you can download the Tor browser from here if you don't want to use system proxy and you only want to use Tor browser then you can op download this Tor browser from here and it's an open source project so this Unix operating system is actually comes with a Unix gateway and any request which we will made by Unix operating system will pass through the Unix gateway and then it will went to different Tor proxy nodes so let me show you here to their official website so here you can see the architecture of Unix workstation so here you can see that in the green boxes these are the applications which we will use in the Unix workstation so you can use any application so similarly see we can say that it's a Firefox browser so any request which we will made through Unix workstation will pass through the Unix gateway and then it will went to the different nodes and here you can see our first node so the first node is actually a, you can say that it's a proxy then it will go to the second proxy server then the third proxy server and the third node is also called as exit node from where our request will exit and here finally our website will went to a website which we want to open so this is how Unix workstation works and you can download Unix workstation for Windows Linux and OS depending upon your operating system so I have already downloaded Unix operating system and I have also installed Unix operating system so once you install the Unix operating system you will notice that in virtual box there will be two virtual machines which will be created by this Unix so if I open my virtual box and here you can see the two virtual machines named as Unix workstation and Unix gateway is created by Unix so let me just close this virtual box and here you can see that on my desktop there is one icon of called as Unix for Windows so I have installed this Unix operating system so let me open this application and here are two options start Unix and advanced so let me click over here start Unix so as soon as I click over here to start Unix the two virtual machines which is Unix workstation and Unix gateway is open and here you can see that it's a Unix workstation so let me start this Unix workstation and right after it Unix gateway is also running here you can see so let's wait and here you can see that our Unix workstation is up and running here you can see its desktop and now let's see how Unix gateway looks like and here you can see the Unix gateway so you can change all the network settings from Unix gateway and the effect of that settings can be seen at Unix workstation so now let me go to the Unix workstation and let me show you how Unix works so here you can see the Unix workstation 
and let me go here let me go to internet and let me click over here tor so it's saying tor browser is currently not installed but no worries we can open firefox also now here you can see that as soon as we start Unix workstation this Unix workstation will entirely covered by Tor proxy and if I open and and if I open my Mozilla Firefox and open what's my IP address dot com here you will see that there is no need of setting up the proxy settings or there is no need to use proxy because this Unix workstation is a proxy in itself and here you can see that our IP address you can see the ISP University of Waterloo and here you can see that it's a Tor exit node which means it's the last store server from where our request is going out and even if you ping a particular website then your ping request will also be covered by the Tor proxy servers so let me open this console and let me ping google.com and here you can see that it will take a little bit time why because our request will first of all pass through different tor nodes and then it will reach at google.com so this is how we can use Unix that is a system proxy and then tab based proxies and browser based proxies you know in order to hide our IP address and to be anonymous so in this video we have covered that what is proxy and how we can use different proxies in order to hide our IP address and to surf internet anonymously so thanks for watching this video